I'm wearing my Harry Potter sweater again. Hey everyone, this is Mary over here at Images on the Page, and today I am doing my monthly wrap up. So I'm doing my wrap up for February. It's my first time ever doing it. And it's actually a good month to do so because I read no less than six books. So that's kind of awesome. I've been averaging like three. So yeah. Sorry, I gotta get my list out. I'm gonna try to do these in the order in which I read them, but I don't always write the dates in which I finished them, so they're not 100%. So the first book I read in February was Trickster's Queen by Tamora Pierce. I read the first book of the trickster duology Trickster's Choice in January and I was just continuing that trend and I finished the series. It's probably one of my favorite series that she's written. It deals with really heavy topics um, like slavery and colonization and rebellion and how people live under oppression and it's just I would say check that one out but you should read some of the other books first but you don't necessarily have to but it will definitely spoil some of the things in one of her earlier series if you read that series first. The second book I read was also a Tamora Pierce book. It was Tempest and Slaughter, her newest release. It came out on February 6th, two days after my birthday. And I, it actually took me a while to get around to reading it, not because I wasn't excited but because do you ever get, do you ever get where you no, because like it took her like three years to come out with this book. So do you ever get where you're like so excited that you just want to wait? Because you know once you've finished it, once you've read it, like you're gonna have to wait so long until the next book comes out. And that's kind of what happened with me is I just really didn't want to start it because I didn't want to end it. And so yeah, but I did finish it in February. And so Numer is one of the characters who is in the Immortal series. He's a mage. And it's kind of his school years. So he went to school in Karthak at the university and it's all about his learning there. Um, I think it's gonna also be a duology. I'm not 100% sure, but hopefully I will have a review up of that soon. I've been bad about those. The next book, well, it was a graphic novel. The next graphic novel I read was Lumberjanes volume one. I did read, I also read volume two and it's just, it's, a really cute young adult middle grade I'm pretty bad at those age ranges um, knowing the difference but we're about these girls who are going to a girls only camp is for it's like hardcore female types or something like that which is really cool um, and then all these supernatural stuff starts happening and so and so it's very they're just very cute and it's all about like friendship like the saying of the camp is friendship to the max and that's kind of what the stories are all about and it's just really adorable. I would I would go look the, check those out. The next book I read was A Long Way to a Small Angry Planet and I put the quotation marks there because I actually listened to it on audiobook and it was phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, the girl, the lady who reads it does an awesome job. I didn't, I read it, I listened to it at like normal speed. Her pacing is just like spot on and then the story is so good. I'm hopefully gonna have a review up of that soon, but if not, here's just like a quick, quick synopsis. So it's about this woman, Rosemary Harper, who has changed her identity and is running from her past. And so she joins this um, ship who tunnels black, I think it's black holes from one planet to another so that you can create like a traveling port. Um, so she joins that crew and it's just kind of like the adventures of that crew and everyone getting and her integrating into that crew all the different personalities and it's so fun. The last book I read in February was Necessary Sacrifice. I haven't been saying really any of the... So Becky Chambers wrote A Long Way to a Small Angry Planet and Necessary Sacrifice Noelle Winters and that was more of a mystery, contemporary mystery novel. It's about this detective who gets put on this case of this murder from a girl who um, came from, I don't think halfway house, but like a house that helped women who were leaving domestic abuse situations. Um, and it was, she was investigating her murder and it's about this detective. The detective's name is Nick and she is tasked with f f 
trying to find who the killer was at the same time where the owner, I think that's what she is, but she's also like the proprietor, the head honcho lady, Emma, um, is also trying to help find the killer because she really wants to figure out who did it. It's about them discovering this mystery, but also getting together. Um, and that was a really cute read. And that was my monthly wrap up. Until the next video, ta-ta for now.